got another little buddy, huh? Your sister over there. That's good. I'm the baby. Nice. Hi, baby. I lost her that night. Found her again, though. Huh? Found her again, though. Yeah. That's perfect, man. See, that works. I'm gonna ask hey, you know, how let me see I let me see one of the babies. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. You gave me one. Awesome man. Hey, yeah. things work out. Things work out, brother. Oh yeah. There you go, man. Beautiful, bro. Hey. And when you got the name of the Lord, man, he he, he blesses us, man. Hey, that's beautiful, man. That's all, all praises to Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. So beautiful. Call. Call. Halal. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahawashai. So Ka means all. Halal means power. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Halal means praises. Right? So all praises. Yahweh Bahashem Yahawashai. So all praises to God in the name of Yahawashai. So whenever the Lord does anything good for us, we got you know, we praise the Lord. It's beautiful, bro. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. So I'm about to get to join today. We're about to get started real quick. Just a normal routine. Let me go ahead and post this lesson on the other channels real quick. We're gonna get started in just a bit. We're gonna talk about Esau's big day today. So Shalom, I'm Aki. I'm the water for joining today. So today, let's go and uh, uh, start off by giving all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakal Kordash, Brachet the Yahweh, Brachet the Yahushai, Brachet the Yahweh, Brachet the Yahushai, Brachet the Yahweh, Brachet the Yahushai, Bashem, Rakal Kordash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect who are the house of David reborn again in this generation through reincarnation. And Shalom to the one third of Yahshua Rala who today were known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. Okay, so today, like I said, is a big day for the nation of Edom, right? Because today is the day that they have uh, coronated and crowned their new king, right? We know him today as King Charles III, but his true name is uh, Charles Philip Arthur, George Sax Coburg Gotha, right? Uh, the Edomite, okay? That's his true full name, okay? 
Now, I added the Edomite there for, for truth's sakes, okay? Now, they don't actually have that, tit that, that name uh, or that title in his name because they don't want to make it too obvious who they are, okay? But uh, before we, uh, we get into a little bit more about uh, the royal family and today's coronation and how uh, the Lord is actually uh, doing this of his will to bring down these devils, let's go and read uh, real quick. Um, this, this is Second Ezra 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Right? So Ezra, right here, when he was bit, being visited by the by the angel Uriel, when Uriel was sent to Ezra, when Ezra and along with all the other southern kingdom Israelites were, were being released from Babylon and were going back to uh to uh Jerusalem so that way they could reestablish the, the the southern kingdom uh, empire and basically live back uh, um, you know, in, in, in a somewhat normal state, but still be under subjection to the Persian Empire. The, uh, the angel Uriel was was sent to Ezra to re-give him the, uh, the the books of the Bible. Right, this is why the Bible, uh, the Torah, uh, primarily, even though it's written by Moses, it's written in a third-person perspective. Instead of it saying, instead of Moses saying or the writing saying, "I did this" or "I did that," it says Moses did this or Moses did that. And that's because it's written actually by Ezra, right? Because remember, the Babylonians, when they came to the southern kingdom, destroyed them and took them out of the land. They actually destroyed the temple and everything. And they even burnt the Bible and all the scrolls that, that we had back then. So again, right here, Uriel is giving unto Ezra the truth of the Bible again. Now, right here, Ezra has asked them, what's going to be the signs of the end of the world? When all these things come to pass, what is it going to be like? Well, this, let's find out what the... Uh, what happened? It says, Or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The hand of a man is between the heel and the hand other questions Ezra asked thou not so that right there meaning that very last part meaning that uh, just as, as as Jacob our forefather right the forefather of the Negro Latino Native Americans as his hand held the heel of of, uh, of of Esau that was symbolic or that was spiritual to what would eventually happen that that the end of the end of Esau's kingdom, let me see. The end of Esau's kingdom, right? You see there, Jacob holding the the, the heel of, of Esau in the womb. Well, that right there was a spiritual sign that at the that once Esau's kingdom is taken down, that, that that's when our kingdom is gonna start. And that last part where it says, you know, basically uh it basically says that means that there's gonna be nothing between it. Right, because a lot of people in this world right now believe that when the American Empire falls down, that China is going to rise up, Russia is going to rise up and have their own kingdom, but that ain't going to happen. Right, the Lord said that directly after the fall of Edom, shall the rise of Jacob, be, uh, you know, be manifested. Okay, and what we're seeing right now is basically the 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 end of the Edomite Empire. This is why you're starting to see the the, the economy collapse. Uh, world uh, empires are are starting to crumble the whole system is being reset right in fact it even has been termed the great reset by the king of Edom that's in power today right so that being said let's go and read this because one thing you got to remember is is that these Edomites in power King Charles the third uh, you know over in England the American power structure here in America and also the Europe the, the, the Edomite uh, power structures and France, Germany, all Europe, Russia, Australia, and pretty much all, all over the world, all are of, of a divine nature, right? It was all given to the to these Edomites by the Lord, right? And you go back to the uh, to to the the Bible in Genesis to find out how these Edomites or Caucasians actually were given the power that they have now to rule the entire world, right? And to get that, you got to read Esau's blessing again, Esau being the, the forefather of the Edomites or Caucasian race, right? This is uh, Genesis 27, 
and 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lift up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Right? And that right there is how these Edomites were given the power that they're currently utilizing right now. Okay? This is how they were able to go around the world and conquer all these other nations, India, China, Japan, Armenia, um, you know, even in, in, uh, you know, Ethiopia and all these different nations that were put under the subjections of these Edomites, right? And if these Edomites, the Caucasian race, didn't put uh, the, the, the particular nations under subjections, he's, he's basically uh, backed them up against the wall with his uh, trade mechanism, his economic power, and basically just his rulership over the entire world, right? And what we're seeing today, like I said, with, uh, with uh, what's his name? With Charles Philip Arthur George Sachs Colbert Gotha's coronation, where he was crowned today, right, at, at uh, London Abbey, right, where they put that crown upon his head. See, that happened all, that, that happened because that, this is their blessing. This is their time to rule. And in fact, it's spiritual that, that King Charles III has received the crown when he's so old, right? Because again, he is 75 years old. He's waited his entire life for this moment to be king, right? That old hag, his, his mom, didn't kick rocks until just last year, okay? And that, and again, this all is, is been done spiritually because again, when you now look at this guy, King Charles the, the third, uh, he, you know, he's now an old man taking over his kingdom, right? And this guy's hitting, basically hitting the floor running because not only is he gonna just be sitting there uh, in in, in uh, England, you know, pretending to do these rituals and you know ceremonies and stuff like that? But he's already established world reset uh, protocols. Okay, that the whole World Economic Forum Great Reset was actually, in fact, his his uh, baby, right? That that was his his uh, his uh, his project. When you get into uh, where Carl Schwab got his money and his power to to create the World Economic Forum, before it was even called World Economic Forum. He basically was working with King Charles of England right back then and to establish a new world order, right? A new establishment and basically to set up uh, Marxism around the world, but uh, but through a new, new, uh, 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 new language, okay? And one thing, uh, one example of this is a, is a famous word we're hearing today called equity, right? You hear this all over the world, right? Oh, inclusivity, equity, and social justice and all that stuff. Well, what is equity? Equity is making everybody equal, you know, right? Because it's supposedly it's fair. Well, what is socialism or communism, right? It is to make everybody equal, right? That everybody gets the same amount. Now, on paper, it seems right, but the problem is, is that the ways that these devils and when I say these devils, I'm talking about these Edomites at top, the, the biblical name of the Caucasian race. They've set it up to where it's really a trap, right? Even though it sounds like like it's a it's a it's a benevolent, good good sounding work, it really it's it's a it's a work of evil. Shalom, Akiyam, Thwata for joining today. So that being said, let's go ahead and and read this real quick because let me get this real quick. This is Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Okay? So that right there shows you that the Lord now has removed the veil of secrecy from, over, from off of these Edomites, right? The world now understands that these Edomites, these Caucasians, truly do rule the world, right? Well, at least for those who are actually looking. Right, because there's a lot of our people who are who are naive, are, are willfully uh, uh, naive to what's really going on. Right, you don't, you, even though they've been told the truth, they don't want to believe it. Oh, they, they don't rule everything. Oh, they're they're just you know that was back the, in the old days and stuff. But the thing is, is that is that these devils 
they, they're still in power today, though they set up figureheads like Barack Obama or, or um, that, what's that, uh, uh, what's his name? Sunak, the, the, the prime minister of England, right? An Indian guy, right? See, what they do is though they're in power, they like to set up all these other minority figureheads and have them push the agenda while they're the, they're the puppet masters behind running the banks, pulling the strings, uh, owning the, the countries, you know, uh, orchestrating the military efforts. See, this is the way Esau works, in secrecy. But everybody's starting to see that this is the, this is the MO, right, uh, the, the modus operandi of Esau, okay? And, and the thing is, is he's no longer able to hide himself. And just like I said, uh, uh, the Lord has, has, has revealed, has made Esau bear. So now everybody's understanding who these Caucasians uh, are. Where did they get that name? Caucasian, right? Because they came out, of, they, they re-emerged from the Cau Caucasus Mountains after they got driven there in their downfall of the Roman, when, when their last empire, the Roman Empire, fell, right? And before that, they were the Macedonians, and before that, they were the Edomites, right? So so the thing is, is, is now, now we're at the end of, of days, right? We're about to see the second coming of the Messiah. Uh, the Lord is now making it uh, evident who these Edomites are, right? He's, he's removing the covering cast over all the nations that are upon the face of the earth, right? So this is why you're now seeing us Israelites, the Negro Latino Native Americans now come, come out and actually observe our, our true, true nationality, our true heritage, okay? So that being said, I wanna to read to you something because one thing is, is, is how is it that these Edomites, um, these Edomites got, that are in power today, the royal family, the, House of Windsor, right? Which that's not even the real name, right? Because when you get into the true name of these the, the royals, their last name is Col uh, uh, what is it? It's uh, Sax Colberg Gotha, okay? Which is a German name, or as the Bible refers to it, uh, Teman. It's a Temanite name. Teman is simply one of the tribes of the of the nation of Edom. Just like the so-called Jews, they're the Amalek. They're from the tribe of Amalek, of the of the nation of Edom. Well, the Germans are the are the tribe of of Timon of the nation of Edom. Okay, and when you look at the nation of Edom, those are the two top tribes. You got Amalek and you got Germ the Germans or Timon that run everything. Shalom, Mark, water for joining. So, the point being is that the 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 royal house or or the yeah the royal house of of England, right? These uh the Windsors they changed their names during World War II when there was a lot of anti-German uh, rhetoric going around. So what did they decide to do? They decided to invent a new name, a name based off of one of their houses, Windsor Manor. They took that name as their last names. But again, they're Sax Colberg Gotha, right? They're Germans. Okay. So next, let me go ahead and um, read this or show you this because one thing is, is how did how did these Germans get into the onto the throne of England when the last we've heard in history? was that King James, who was a so-called black man, right? Right, the same King James who, who uh, wrote the, uh, who, was, who authorized the Bible to be uh, gathered and written and put together in a book. If you want, you can pause the video to see the, uh, the, the process of how the Bible was put together, right? The, the, the process, of, of going through all the scriptures and, and, and making sure that it was a, a truthful translation which ultimately gave us the KJV Bible well how did it be, how did it come from from this line right because remember the so-called blacks had taken over Rome during the 200 400 a, uh, AD period okay and from there it, 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 it went on to establish what we know as the European empires right France Germany, Britain and all those places, right? And that's when back in the Black Age, the, the Dark Ages, so-called black people ruled over Europe, okay? And then what happened? Well, about 1200 to 1400 uh, BC, a thousand years after these Edomites went into, uh, w went into uh, uh, up to the Caucasus Mountains because they have lost their rulership over Rome, they stayed there for a thousand years. And that's the same thousand years that it tells you in Revelations that the Lord would lock up Satan for a thousand years that he would be released and loose for a, a, a small while. This is that small while, right? 
So after the thousand years that these Edomites went up to the Caucasus Mountains, they started to come down into the, into the into Europe, right? And they were the the pig herders, the 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 laborers, the basically the servants, right? They were the servants of all the 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 nobles and the and the European uh, hierarchy there, which were basically jakes, people of color. Well, eventually, what ended up happening, just like any other uh, any other time in, in history, these Edomites who were the the lowest of the society in the European Dark Ages, they started to rise up little by little, and this ultimately happened because of uh, uh, the, the Edomite banking powers that were established in, in Switzerland, which was a newly established country uh, in, 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 I think, the 1200s and stuff like that, right, by, by, by uh, the, the, the progenitors of the Freemasons, known as the Knights Templars. Well, eventually, what happened is the Lord came down with the, the Black Plague, and he killed off one-third of the society of Europe, okay? And when that happened, the, the power structure in Europe started to crumble, and not only that, but you had the, pow the, the, the royal families, right? The House of Stuart, which is what it's called, right? That's, the, that's where um, uh, King James, he was of that house, the House of Stuart. Stuart means, um, I believe that means like dark, like dark or black, right? Now the thing is, 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 is uh, his lineage started to marry into uh, other, these other uh, Edomite families, right? Fa where the Edomites had already taken over and they, they started to have families and, and princesses there. So, so basically, European nobility and, and, and other kings and princesses would marry into these Edomites, and these Edomites would slowly start to gain power because of their banking prowess, because of, because it was now time for Satan to be loose for a little bit, right? This is why Esau was able to come up out of from his low estate, okay? And eventually, because it was time for Jacob to go back into a form of captivity for all the wickedness we have been doing again. In this case, in Europe, during the Dark Ages, the Southern Kingdom, and us, uh, Northern Kingdom, the Latinos and Native Americans, who were already over here in the New World on the Western Hemisphere, it was time for us to also uh, go into subjection, okay? So, eventually what ended up happening is that the line of Stuart, right, the line from which uh, King James started to descend, you eventually got to a to a man who uh, who ended up just living uh, wealthy and basically indulging in all everything and never had a a, a a a male heir. And this ultimately was the end of the Stuart bloodline. Okay, so let me see if I can. So it basically shows you from uh, the house of the house of Stuart basically goes from here. It goes all the way down until you get to right here, right? This little section here, this is where the house, house of saxe coburg gotha got into it. Why? Well, because of this last male heir of the Stuart bloodline, right, who was king, he, he had no heirs. So what did, he, what did this dumbass do? He went ahead and put his niece and made her queen, right? And we know her today as Queen Victoria, right? And what did Queen Victoria do? Well, she married a German, right? She married Albert, Sax, Kohlberg, and Gotha, and, uh, who was born, and this took place around um, 1837, 1837, basically, right? And from that point on, you, that's where you had the Germans take over the, the throne and are still in the throne today over in England. So these aren't the, the descendants of the, the true king of England, but these are simply the Edomites that took over and are are still in power today, right? And that is and that's ultimately the way that that it goes throughout history, right? But but in this case, it was done through treacherous means, right? And let's read let's read that. This is um, Ecclesiasticus or the Book of Sirach, verse ten, verse eight. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches, got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. And see, that's what happened, right? When you, when, if you want to see how unrighteously a lot of the riches were, were, were gotten by these Edomites who, who basically catapulted themselves to, to prominence in the European uh, uh, stratosphere, what you want to look up, there's a show on, on Netflix called The Medici's. It's a three season episode or three season show, very good show. 
but it shows you how these Edomites basically went from being basically, you know, uh, pig handlers all the way to, to, to uh, rich bankers, right? And that Medici family today, uh, when, if you follow that line, today they go up to the Habsburgs of, of, the, of, of uh, Bavaria today, I believe, right? That family Habsburgs are the Medicis, okay? Now, the thing is, is, is that these people are still in power today, but again, you don't hear about them because they are so rich, they stay off of the top, you know, most richest people list in the world. They're they're the bosses of, of the people that we believe or that the world is, is made to believe are the rulers of the world. Okay? And why and why is that? Well because you see Esau's power is not in revealing himself, but it's in ultimately his secrecy and hiding who he truly is. Okay? So so that's why the kingdom right now ultimately is underneath the, the control of these Edomites. Again, yes, it was done by the will of God, but it was done in a treacherous manner by the will of these, or by the power that these Edomites were given, okay? They ultimately schemed, got their way up into power, and they ultimately killed and murdered a lot of people to get into that power, that line. And now we're, we're basically being governed by their descendants, right? King Charles, the uh, Biden, and all these other people, these bankers who rule over the world. These are all the descendants of these Edomites uh, who, 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 who the Bible says would live off the fatness of the earth and and uh, and, and under the dew of heaven, right? This is, this is ultimately their, their blessing. But again, the great thing is, is we're now at the very end of their empire. And again, this, the, the spiritual marker uh, of, of King Charles III being 75, the oldest king ever crowned under the the English crown uh, is is a spiritual sign that 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 this is the end, okay. So and then and then besides that, you have a lot of things, a lot of people over there in England today, uh, revolting and protesting and and basically uh, talking about having the, you know, they're saying not my, you know, King Charles, not my king. That's like a hashtag. If you want to look it up, just go to YouTube, type in not my king. You'll see all the hundreds of protests that are breaking out today over in uh, over in uh, Europe because of the coronation because a lot of people don't like this King Charles because one he's he's a he's a, he's a sicko man he's a, he's a freak just like these other Edomites man you know when you look at who you know who he hangs out with right he hang, hangs out with that uh, pro, prolific uh, pedophile Jimmy Savile who was think of him like uh, he was like the Johnny uh, he was like the Johnny um, uh, or like the Bob Hope of, of, of England over there right he ultimately was he was crowned he was given one of the highest honors over there in England, right? They even called him Sir Jimmy Savile, right? But what was he doing? He was sneaking into these children's hospitals and molesting these kids for thousands of years, right? And on top of that, you have uh, King Charles's brother, um, Andrew, right? Who, who was, who was you know, best friends with Epstein, man. And they had to basically kick his ass out of the, the limelight from the public eye because he was, he was uh, blackmailed, you know, uh, all the way uh, by, by Epstein, who was the predecessor the predecessor to Jimmy Savile okay so again this shows you man that these people are not are not people of, of, of righteous means they're they're the wicked okay and when you and then uh and on top of that uh over the last couple of years you've had butlers and you have people who have worked um you know serving King Charles the Queen and all these royals coming out saying how these people are just demented in their mind right that they have that they're totally disconnected from reality and that they're ultimately wicked well again we don't have to go too far to, 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 to realize this is truth because we, when you look at what's going on with the World Economic Forum and, and the all the agendas that they're pushing, the world depopulation, right, depopulating the world by 7.5 billion people, right, this, this is ultimately what they want, right, they don't want, and what do they say, they said by 2035, there's going to be no natural human beings, right, they want all human beings that are left upon the face of the earth to people who have been modified by their their technology, right? Just like as in the days of Noah, where all flesh had corrupted itself, these devils are looking to do the same thing, right? By putting in that graphene oxide into people's bodies. So that way you could uh, have that sixth sense, right? To do all these different things. That's what they ultimately want. They want to get rid of the natural human being, right? And, and, and who, who comes up with these ideas, man? Well, I'll tell you who. The devil that the Bible is written about, the wicked, described about in Job 9 and 24. Um, the wicked, right? What does the Bible say?
the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? And they cover the faces of the judges thereof. If not, who and where is he? That those wicked are these Edomites, right? They're the they're the they're the mystery of of, of iniquity, right? And remember, iniquity is is sin piled upon sin, right? So again, remember, even though back in the time when the Messiah was here, right, and he was talking to the disciples, you had Edomites there. They were the Romans, right? But back then, they they didn't have they didn't understand who was good, who ultimately was the wicked, who was gonna be the the devils all upon the face of the earth, right? Yes, you had all these different nations there, and the, including the Edomites, but nobody really stuck out as that wicked, right? Because why? Because the prophecies hadn't been fulfilled yet, unlike they are now, right? Now we understand who these wicked are, who is the ones ruling the world through through the weaponry, who has turned morally upside down the entire world, who has gone against God and everything he said, right? It's these Edomites, right? They're the ones who fulfill the prophecies of the uh, of, of the Edomites or the wicked of the Bible, okay? And this is why why these devils can't hide from the truth. Now, let's go ahead and go into this because one thing that hold on, let me get this real quick. For the elect, Shalom, as far as books that I would recommend about Esau, the Bible is the first one. After that, the book, um, the the Roman, the the Roman Empire, uh, or the Roman Empire, the the Empire of the Edomites. <coughs> That's a really good book. Um, the other book would be the uh, um, Who is Esau Edom? And you don't even have to buy these books. You can just go online. Type in those titles and then put .pdf at the end of them, and then you'll go ahead and you'll find the PDF files, and you can just read them off your tablet or off your phone. So, that being said, I just want to make sure. Yeah, that being said, there, um, the the best thing to do with these about these Edomites, um, the best thing to do is just go ahead and watch these videos, right? If you want to read books. You, you go, man, but there's been so many lessons and so many um, in-depth reviews of these books, you really don't even have to go into them. You can just go online on, here on YouTube and then type up Esau, right? You know, who is Esau Edom? You'll find hundreds of lessons that us, uh, at, at, that the men at Great Millstone and other brothers have done on, uh, on, on that very subject. So again, you don't have to like, you know, reinvent the wheel, just, you know, go into that. Um, but you know, actually, another good book too. But if you do want to get a book, because I understand a lot of times you, you do want to study and you want to go a little bit deeper, uh, would be the Thirteenth Tribe by Arthur Kosler, right? The the Amalekite Jew who actually ratted out his people to say that they weren't the uh, they weren't the, uh, the 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 Israelites of the Bible, right? Um, and that book is the book where uh, where it talks about how they they uh, came out of the Caucasus Mountains and how they would eat out of their they would drink out of their grandma's skulls and they would wear their underwears until they deteriorated off of them. It's really, it's a crazy book, but it, there's a lot of crazy truths that are that are revealed in that book, okay? That's ultimately why they ended up killing Arthur Kostler because he had revealed so much. So that being said, let's go ahead and get back into this lesson because one thing is, is you see right now, just like back in the days where, where, um, where the Lord had given King Saul a commandment to kill off all, all, you know, do exactly what he said and to kill kill all the Amalekites, right? King Saul didn't listen, right? And and when and because of that, how King Saul didn't listen, the Amalekites continued to, to live on and they're ultimately plaguing the entire world today, right? Those Amalekites are the people that we would refer to today as the so-called Jews, right? The ones who ultimately own everything, who even King Charles is beholden to, right? Um, under the, the city of London, a, a, you know, whole issue, right? The Roth, Rothschilds and all this stuff, right? Because again, the Rothschilds are, are so-called Jews, even though they pretend that they're English and stuff like that. No, they're German Jews and stuff, right? But the point being, or should I say Ashkenazi German Jews, but that being said, just as Saul didn't listen to the Lord, right? The, um, 
King James also didn't listen to the Lord, right? Because if he did, he would have he would have remembered this scripture right here, right? This is um this is Ecclesiastes. Let me see. Twelve and ten. It's because again, one thing you gotta remember is that uh, the the kings of England, King James and everything, they understood that they were the descendants of Jacob. They understood that, right? Now they didn't know it uh, on, on a perfect level, right? Where they knew that they were the Israelites. You know, they, they knew that they were descendants of Jacob and hence they were the their Jews, but they didn't understand really the, the intricacies that we know today, okay? Uh, the brother uh, Adam Nana brings out Lamentations 421, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall shall make thyself naked. Beautiful, right? Exactly. That's what's happening right now. Right now, the 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 cup of the Lord's indignation, right, has been passed on to to these Edomites, right? The the entire nations of of Edom, right? And this is why they're making themselves drunken, and and this is why you're starting to see all this folly come out. This pedophilia, uh, acceptance, the the women wanting to be men, the men wanting to be women, right? pushing all these horrible doctrines, these laws uh, to try to uh, quell qu um, free speech. They're all coming out from these Edomites, right? Uh, you're starting to see um, basically uh, uh, all this crazy uh, drunken-like behavior, people, the craziness, right, coming from these nation of Edomites because the Lord is now passing, moving the curses onto these Edomites and he's making them spiritually drunken to the point where they now think that that they're they're the gods, they're 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 bigger than God. They're, they're stronger than God, right? Just look at that devil, Nora Harari, that Amalekite, who says they don't need God anymore. They can make God as angry as they want because they can make their own water now, right? That they are the gods now, right? That's what this devil said, right? That, and then also uh, back to what I had mentioned about you had the ex-butler of, um, of 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 the royals came out saying that that um that the mental state of King Charles is is totally off. That he doesn't care. How he, how um, how he looks and, and 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 he really doesn't consider himself to be the same as other people. And a lot of the things he does is is, is crazy. And that he's a how do you put it? He is a he's a he's passionate about um, his his um, he's passionate. He didn't say it like that, but that ultimately his 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 um how can I put it? That he's a freak, right? As far as getting what he likes, right? He likes a lot of weird shit. Not sexually, maybe, but it might be that too. But just in general, he likes a lot of crazy things. When you eat about the food he eats, the the way he his, he likes his his environment, the way he likes people to uh, bow to him and basically uh, you know serve him, he's just a, he's a, he's a weirdo, right? And the thing is, is that this is the the drunkenness that the Lord has put on these people, right? He's brought them to a level of decadence where their pride has now destroyed them. And they now believe that they're different, and they they they've uh, they've they've uh, they basically uh, <clears throat> lifted up themselves too much. But what does the Bible say? Right, pride goeth before the fall. Right. So <clears throat> let me get this real quick. <clears throat> so that being said, King James, just like King Saul should have hearkened onto the words of the Lord, right? Because just as King King Saul failed to listen to the Lord, he lost his kingdom, King James of the Bible also failed to listen to the words of the Lord and ultimately lost his kingdom, right? And this is what he should have listened to because again, just as he knew that he was a descendant from from uh, Jacob, he should have, he also would have, uh, should have looked into it and found out and realized that these Edomites these these Germans and all these other people that he ultimately married into, that they also were descendants of his enemies, the Edomites. Okay, now this should have applied to him. <clears throat> this is a uh, Sirach, chapter twelve, verse ten. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not altogether wiped, been wiped away. Set him, and this is the point. 
set him not by thee, least when he has over has overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek, he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked wherewith. Right? So right there, King James should have realized that these Edomites, the Lord had commanded us to not trust our enemies, to don't even set them, set them on our sides, don't even bring them into our congregations, don't let them be part of our our um, our council, right? And when you look at the way Esau and Amalek have always gotten over on these nations, right? Just look at the Ottoman Empire and how he ultimately uh, rose up in power and took over the Ottoman Empires and why he's over there as kings of the Saudi Arabians and also kings of, the, of Turkey because he was the advisors, right? East, there was always an Edomite advisors there serving the caliph, serving the king, serving the sultan, right? And eventually what happened is, is he, he got into power and he became the king himself, right? Just as what happened with King James, right? These Edomites, they started to, to, to get in close with the with these nobles, right? And they, they got they and they, they got in good favor with them and eventually they got given uh, 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 titles of nobility and, and power and land and fiefdoms and eventually those people had kids and those kids now were considered noble and those nobles were then considered marriageable material. Well, when they started to marry in, into these Edomites, what eventually happened? They overthrew the, 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 the Israelites that were in, in uh, Europe and they ultimately took over and they're in rulership till today, right? So again, that's ultimately what happened with King James and, and the black nobility over there in Europe, that they didn't listen to the words of the Lord just as King Saul didn't listen and they lost their kingdom, right? And right now we're under subjection and ultimately it's, it's due to the Lord. But, but the thing is, is that all these have physical mechanisms that take place and they all and all these mechanisms are, are, are performed by certain uh, people and, and this and what I just explained is what happened okay <clears throat> next let's go ahead and talk about the great reset because now that we're there right now that we're living under these Edomites rulership and now that King Charles the third right what's his name uh, Charles Philip Arthur George Saxon Colbert Gotha the Edomite has been crowned king of England and of the world. He is now literally the king of the new world order, okay? And and don't think this is all by chance. No, these devils knew it, man. There's a lot of people saying that they killed the queen, that she actually they didn't kill her, but that she chose to die specifically on that day, right? And and guess guess, guess what day he was made king? He was pronounced king. Today's his coronation, which means today's the day they did all ceremonies, but I, it was on it was on um, March 3rd, 3623. 36. Think about that, people. 36666. Okay? So these devils, man, they, 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 they do all this shit by numerologies, man. This is why they said there, there's a uh, there's people who say that the queen died a month before she was announced, right? And this is why she hadn't come out in public and all this stuff. But no. They, they did all this stuff in, in, in perfect order because, again, they had plans to do this, to coordinate, to to uh, crown the king on 3-6 and to ultimately do his coronation today on on on, on, um, the, on 5 6, the day right after the blood moon came came to the earth. OK, so so again, now that the New World Order, Edom's Edom's empire has its new king, this king has, like I said, has been hitting the, the ground running. Right, and he established and he established the the World Economic Forum a long time ago with his friend Karl Schwab, another German. Right, because again, remember, uh, uh, King Charles, his dad, Phil, uh, Prince Philip, he, he was a Nazi. He was a Nazi Germ, uh, German. Right, and 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 that's what they don't like you to tell. They don't like you to tell uh, know about that. Right, his 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 uncle. They called him Uncle Dicky. I forgot his name, but uh, he's one of those Duke of something. But he also was a was a German Nazi, right? And he was the one who actually introduced uh, his his nephew, uh, Prince Philip, to uh, Queen Elizabeth, right? And they ended up, you know, coming together and stuff, having the, and having those devil children, and Charles, King Charles, right? Now, ultimately, um, King Charles, like I said, he's always been really tight with these with these uh, Germans, right? And why is that? Well, because he's a German, right? Even though he has a name of Windsor, his real name is Sax. Colbert, 
Gotha, right? A, a German name. And this is why he's tight with those Rothschilds, okay? Well, again, and, 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 and this is why he made friends with uh, Karl Schwab and to, to push forward his new world order or his new world order uh, through the World Economic Forum. And again, if you don't remember, the World Economic Forum, their logo has 666 in it, okay? So, so when you look at the World Economic Forum, that little like crescent moon that goes through all the O's, although it makes sixes on those three uh, lines. Now, when, when the, the Great Reset, which these devils like to say it's, it's a conspiracy theory, even though you got King Charles himself who came out, who came out uh, to, uh, to announce the Great Reset, right? And, and it's crazy when you look at, he was standing right in front of the, the new global, the, the Great Reset logo, right? The global initiative. That's a crown, right? So, so this is what he said when he announced the Great Reset, which, which the media likes to say that it's just conspiracy theory, right? This is what he said. It says, King Charles III said, as we move to, from rescue to recovery, therefore we have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. It is an opportunity we have never had before and may never have again. We must use all the levers we have at our disposal, knowing that each and every one of us have a vital role to play. Okay? And then this is where he also went on to say that, that we have to march, we have to go, we have to, we have to work with global martial, uh, um, uh, we, have to, we have to push for a global martial um, uh, activity or basically move this, these new initiatives, these this global resets in a martial like manner, right? Martial ultimately means like military, okay? So what the, what, what the new king of the world has ultimately said is that, that these new green agendas, these great resets, the carbon footprints, all these things are gonna be basically pushed upon the world in a military like a standard, okay? This is why you're seeing things not even being discussed, they're just being implemented and it's being done at a rapid pace. And why is that? Well, because these devils know that they have a, a short time before they're taken out of power and they, they need to try to get this system in, in place to kill off the majority of the world so that way only they are left and that, that way they, they could then receive the, the, the world and the, the, the future empire, right? Because they believe, these Edomites believe that if they could kill off the descendants of Jacob, right? The Israelites, right? The Negro Latino Native Americans, then the, then the blessing, the, the birthright, which they sold to our forefather Jacob, and also the blessing which was given all to us will, will revert back to them, right? See, that's what they believe. And this is also why, why they're doing what they're doing, right? And this is why they're building up all that space force and all that military power to fight the, the Lord and ultimately to kill off the majority of the world, right? This is why they made sure everybody went and got those snake bites and they did all these horrible things to the world. Uh, the brother brings out, um, let's see. Beautiful. Let me read this. The brother brings out Sirach 41 and 5. The children of sinners are abominable children, and they that are uh, conversant in and conversant in the dwellings of the ungodly. The inheritance of sinners' children shall perish, and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. Beautiful. Right? And that's ultimately what's going on, man. These Edomites who are in power today, they are those they are the, the children of these sinners, these Edomites. That, that took the, the, the kingdom uh, in a, in a wicked-like manner, right? So, so now that now we're now subject onto these the the, the, the rules and, and these laws that they're going to be pushing upon the world, right? By these children of the sinners, these Edomites. Now we're going to, you know, you got to understand that we really are in, in, a, in a whole lot of, uh, of trouble, right? But the, what does the Bible say? Go on to the world and them that dwell in it, for the for the devil has come down upon you. Right, knowing that he has but a, a little time, you know. See, the thing is, is these devils they know they got a little time, which is why they're pushing through all these agendas, which is going to ultimately see the destruction of the dollar, the economic system, the implementation of the new digital currency that's going to be tied to a new social credit system. Because they're going to, they, when they get rid of the dollar, they're also going to get rid of the the credit the the credit score system. Which, by the way, the credit score system wasn't established until 18 
I'm sorry, 1989, okay? Think about that, people. Right before that, you didn't have a credit score, right? Well, now, they're gonna get rid of the credit score system and they're gonna put in a social credit score that's gonna be tied to your carbon footprint and what you do socially. And mark my words, they're gonna go ahead and reset the, when they do this great reset, eventually something's gonna happen to the internet and it's gonna be brought down. And no, there's gonna be no more anonymous internet, right? Just like the people in China, just like the people in Australia, you will have to uh, sign up for a internet driver's license, right? Over in Australia, they refer to this as a 100 point, 100 point identi identity system where you gotta provide a, a driver's license, which is like 50 points, uh, a credit card, which is like 20 points, right? Certain, certain uh, identity systems which to verify for you. Then what you're gonna be given is you're gonna be given an online identity or, or an ID number, which you could then go and use on your Facebook, your Instagram, and your Twitter. When you make comments, it's all gonna be tied to you. And guess what? If you make a comment that the government doesn't like, that goes against these Edomites or something, they're gonna be able to uh, uh, block you from going online. They're gonna be able to do other things where, where you won't be able to, to, to uh, speak out against power. And this is the new system that's coming upon the world. This is the beast system that is being established around us. Now, eventually what's gonna happen is when they, when they, when they bring out the cashless system and they establish the social credit system, which is already set up in China, it's already being set up in, in Australia as I speak. They, after, after they set those up here, then they're gonna come out and say that the world, that, that they need to verify that that is you because there's gonna be lots of people who are gonna try to get around from this online anonymity, right? A lot of people are gonna be trying to commit fraud and they're gonna allow it to happen. And they're gonna let, allow it to happen because they're gonna come out and say that we need to, to have some sort of biometric way to verify that you're you. And guess what that's gonna be? That's gonna be the mark of the beast that they're gonna wanna put in your hand or in your forehead. And let's read that real quick. Cause, cause I cannot speak about that uh, too often, right? This is uh, Revelations 13 and 16. And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that word there, mark in Greek is karagma. Karagma, when you look into the word, it talks about an incision made with a sharp object, okay? So this is why we know it's not a barcode, a tattoo, but it's gonna be an implant. And when you see that you got Elon Musk there pushing out a, a microchip for their brain, or, or, hey brother, you know that the Latinos and Native Americans were the actual Israelites of the Bible? That's us, man, beautiful. So, so you see, so what's happening? Yep, yeah, well, no, no, we were the actual Israelites who fell off now, now we're coming back. We are the Gentiles, but we're the Gentiles because we forgot that we were the Israelites. Remember, we, yeah, we are the Hebrews, exactly. That's why, that's what's up, exactly. That's why when they, when the Europeans came over here and they found us speaking Quechua, what did they say about Quechua? They said Quechua is Hebrew. It's a broken form of Hebrew, right? They said, we were over here practicing Hebrewism, right? We were practicing, we were carrying arcs. Oh yeah, but Islam are the children of Ishmael. And Ishmael was rejected because he is the children of a bondwoman, right? And just like it, just like it tells you in the Quran, they believe that if they keep the laws and they do everything, that God's going to select them. But what does the Lord say? I will yet choose Jacob. He rejected them. Exactly. Beautiful, right? Uh, brother, would you be a so-called Mexican? What, 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 what's your nationality? French? But well, what is your father though? Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. Exactly. 
those Israelis who are in the land today, they're actually Edomites. They're the descendants of Esau. They're coming back to Israel. Exactly. And, and the thing is, is they like that star goes back to their Ashkenazi roots when they were the Khazarians. This is why the same Ashkenazi Jews who are the heads of the Saudi Arabian family, the house of Sa'ad, they also have a similar star, but they call it the star of Ishmael. Right? And they like to they like to play with words and, and emotion and they get people they believe in Allah. Exactly, right? And Allah is simply a Hebrew word that means all power. Allah means all power. Right? But that's not the truth, right? The truth is 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 see us Israelites, we were giving God's children or Yahweh. 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 Or Yahweh is is a short abbreviation of, of the letters, but the way you pronounce it is Yahweh. And, and the Messiah's name isn't Jesus, but it's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yeah, and the way it works is, is check this out, brother. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Okay, there you go. So, this truth is starting to come out more and more every day. And, and this is because we're at the end. And the Lord says, at the end, that, that a great that the Israelites would stand up as a great vault as a great army, and that them that see them would be scared. Yeah, they're, 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 they're yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They fight them. Who? The other Arabs, the but who's, what do you mean? You talking about the Israelis? Yeah, no, man. No, the Israelis aren't, aren't, the, aren't the real people. Yeah. No, those are the amount. They're the Amalekites yeah. of, the, of the nation of Edom. Right, right now, the reason why they're the best pilots is because just like I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it to you, so this way you know. Yeah, okay. uh, because they are the descendants of Esau. Uh -huh. Right, Esau. Remember, was Jacob's evil twin brother. Yeah. And, and he, was, he was also a Hebrew. He was also a Hebrew. He was Jacob's brother. He was the, he was the brother. Oh, no. oh yeah. He was um, so you have Jacob, right? You have Jacob who is the forefather whose name was Israel, right? Uh, God chose him. And he's the descendant of the Negro Latino Native Americans and anybody whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline, right? Then you got Esau, who is the, the forefather of the Caucasian race, including the so-called Jews that are in No no no. No no, we're not Esau. No, we're not. No, 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 we're not white because we're white. See, we're white because we were conquered by the Edomites. See, so the, so the thing is, is is all the world before before uh, Esau came onto the plane was we're all people of color, right? But the thing is, is after Esau came, came in, because remember, Esau was simply Cain who came back in the reincarnation. Remember, when God when God came, gave Cain the, 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 the mark, that mark was leprosy. He took away all his, his pigment. This is why uh, blue eyes, uh, uh, pale skin, is recessive, right? It was something that was taken away. So when Cain died in the flood, everybody died. He eventually came back, just like everybody does. He yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. There it is, exactly, brother. Yeah, yeah. See, the thing is, 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 is and that's ultimately why the Lord brought you here, so we can speak and we can, we can, we can. What does it say? Iron sharpeneth iron, right? So, so like I was saying, is, is Esau was given was given a blessing right that he would ultimately that he would ultimately rule the world okay but but there's a way that explains how he would rule the world and that's what we're going to this is genesis 27 to 38 and esau said unto his father hast thou but one blessing my father and esau lifted up his voice and wept and isaac his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above but by and by the sword shall thou live and shall serve thy brother so that is how these edomites are ruling this is why they're the best pilots this is why the they in, they rule the entire world but how by their weaponry right they, they rule the jets are weapons that jets are simply just a, everything 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 they're weaponry yep because this is their blessing this is their biblical blessing right and and jacob Yep, exactly. God, and God protects them because why? Because this is their time to rule because like it says that he would live off the fatness of the earth and off the dew of the heaven, right? Which means even though they're living, being wicked, doing all this wicked stuff, like today is the day that they crowned their king, King Charles, right? So right now is, is the time of their end of their empire. 
but it, but but because the Lord ordained through through His servant Jacob, Israel, and He blessed blesses His children, His blessings are going to stand. Oh yeah, 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 exactly. And the crazy thing is, is when the Lord comes back, He, he says He's going to take out Esau, right? He says um, He's going to He's going to remove out of power. He's going to He says He says for that. It says, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, Jacob being the twelve tribes of Israel, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Exactly. All the, the, the conquering of the Latinos, Negroes, and Native Americans, when he took, when he took uh, after the Black Plague over in Europe, when he went through all Europe, and he came out of the Caucasus Mountains, married into the nobility families, killed off the majority of European powers there, and basically usurped all the authority of all the European uh, houses over there, he, and, and a lot of those people he put into slavery, right? And that's that's ultimately how he he, he took over by by wickedness, treachery, and and, uh, and manipulation, right? And today they're they're currently ruling the world, but they know also. See, they're not a, the the people at the very top aren't oblivious to this. They know who they are. They um, there's even been videos uh, and 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 biographies of the, the 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 rulers of the world, the Rothschilds. They actually know that their line goes back to Esau and Cain. And the thing is, is they understand too that, that when the Bible says that when the Lord comes back and that there's going to be war in heaven, that that's actually going to be them fighting against God. Because they are angels Satan. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. When he comes back, he's going to fight against Satan and his angels. His angels, Satan's angels are these white people. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful man. Up here. Thank you, brother. Hey, but that's what that's how the Lord says he's gonna do. He says that the that the he says the port talking about us Israelites, he says the portion of them is not like the others, talking about these other nations. Yep. Exactly, that's how it is. He says it says that, that he's gonna put them out and that for six months there's gonna be nothing but continual burying of the of the of the dead of the dead bodies and that those Edomites that, that do manage to go into the to the to the rocks or to the dens of the rocks and the holes in the mountains that well it says that they're gonna be found out they're gonna be taken up and that they're gonna be put into slavery and it says for well yeah the majority of them are gonna be killed off yep the majority of the Edomites will be killed but then what's gonna happen is that the the elites that go into hiding the ones who have who have robbed the world to build these underground bases and underground cities exactly yep yep and that's why if you look in America and all over the world there's a bunch of with the, they call them dumb, dumbs and, and tunnels, deep underground military bases where, where they live and they believe that they're going to write out the end of the world. They're not. Exactly. And, and it tells you that it says, the Lord says, though they dig, though, though they climb up to Carmel, meaning up into space, or they dig down to hell, meaning into the ground, it says, that, that's what I, will I bring them up. Yeah. And what's going to happen is when the Lord comes up, because when the Lord comes, it's going to, it's going to be basically UFOs, right? Right now, the, well, they are UFOs. They're chariots. They they're not. Yeah, they're not UFOs. That's they yeah, that's what they call them. Exactly. But they're basically the chariots of the Lord. Yeah. And all these scriptures here. Yep. Exactly. And what's? Yep. Yep. And the thing is, is, is there's, gonna be, there's gonna be even a large, large, huge fellowship, because uh, in in uh, Nehemiah, I think is is it Nehemiah or, or Habakkuk talks, talks about flying, uh, flying uh, up. Yeah, well, it talks about a, a mountain. It says two mountains made of brass. Basically, what he's what he's seen was basically huge so-called UFOs in over the horizon. They're so big that they're basically bigger than the Earth. Even bigger, even bigger, brother. Because remember, there's even there's even a man. He was a he was a NASA scientist, uh, Norman Bergman. Uh, he was he he was pop, he was he was renowned. He's an honored NASA fellow uh, who was renowned for. Making missile and air, and air and airplane stabilization uh, mechanisms, right? Very very intelligent man. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. So so Norman Norman Bergman, he actually wrote a book called The Ringmakers of Saturn, and what he said is that that they actually they actually seen these these aliens, right? And he said he was in an interview. He was saying he's all he's all yeah he's all these. You know, one day we were watching these telescopes and we seen these large crafts. They're they're about they're like two earth they're like two earth earth lengths wide. 
and oh. yeah, so they're humongous. Yeah, humongous, exactly. And there's there's NASA's even, and then not only that, but he said this. He said he said that they actually seen them get out of the ship, and he said that these that he's all he's all beans. yeah these beans. He said they were able they were over Saturn. He said they were able to to identify them and see them get out of these ships. And he said they were large black men. Yeah, and, and, he said, he said, he said they were seven to nine feet tall. Yeah. And then the lady's all, you mean dark? No, he's all black. And then he, and he said, yeah. And he's all, he's all, they look like African Americans. And why is that? Well, because the African Americans, when you look at Yahweh Shai and the father of Yahweh, they're what we, they're what we would refer to as African Americans, but they're really Hebrews. They're Hebrews. Yeah, exactly. And that's ultimately the way it works. But they're gonna, they're taller because just like the angels that were always taller, you know, even. Even Uriel spoke, spoke to Ezra. Even I as an angel was tall. Yeah, exactly. When we are given new bodies, we're going to be given, we're going to be about nine feet tall. Nine feet tall. Exactly, okay. right? And, and do you, uh, there's a scripture that actually talks about that. That says how, why we got so small, right? Because. Well, not because of sin, yeah. but because of, because how the, because right now we're on earth, it tells you in the Bible, I'll read it to you right now, but it tells you how the world is right now, it's kind of like churning, churning people out. Well, you know what? That's like God say. That's like God tell us why, right? This is a uh, Second Ezra five and fifty one. He answered. This is he is talking about Uriel the angel talking to Ezra because Ezra saying, "Why are we smaller, right? Why are we, why aren't we as strong as the people from the past?" He answered me and said, "Ask a woman that beareth child, and she shall tell thee. Say unto her, Wherefore are not thy, not they whom thou hast?" now brought forth like those that were before but less of stature right so basically why are the children that you're bringing in old age not as strong or as tall as the children that you brought when you were younger and she shall answer thee they that are born in the strength of youth are of one fashion and they that are born in the time of age when the womb faileth are otherwise now right here this is the point consider thou therefore also how that ye are less in stature than those that were before you. And so are they that come after you less than ye. As the creature which now began to be old, and as, I'm sorry, as the creatures which now begin to be old and have passed over the strength of youth. Meaning that right now, we're here on earth simply just because we're, we're going through a process. And every, every generation, we're getting smaller and smaller. If you look at the minerals of the earth, the, 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 the agriculture, the, the fruit that we eat now, it's the, it's the same same fruit, but there's less nutrients inside of it, right? The earth is, yeah, exactly. The earth is just depleting more and more. And again, if we were to be here for another thousand years, the people that would come after us would be even smaller in stature. Exactly, right? But to us, they would look at midgets, but to us, you know, and then, but to them, we would look like giants, right? But this is also why when you go back in ancient, ancient cities you see larger larger window larger doors and everything you see the the sword of yeah they were they were bigger people they were bigger in stature exactly 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 right so so that being said um when we are given those bodies we will be rejuvenated giving back our immortal bodies right because what's going to happen it says that the children of israel that that once we are when the lord comes back He's going to reestablish us and give us that new body. Yeah. If you want, so here's here's the link shows us all our a slave name, but these are all the YouTube links here you can you can go to and stuff like that, brother. And this right here is the, the Hebrew alphabet. This is the old Hebrew alphabet. Daily Hebrew. This is the modern Hebrew. And that's the sound. So this way you can actually pronounce the name of the Lord. There you go. So. channels so this is this is ultimately where we are We're, we don't have a church the bible tells you that that the that no this is the synagogue this is the this is the church right here so yeah yeah right here the bible says where two or more speaking of me there i am in the, in the midst right and the bible also says i do not dwell the lord says i do not dwell in temples made by hands right so so all these temples here that are made 
they, a lot, the majority of them aren't really teaching the truth of the Bible. They're teaching, they're teaching religion. But it's down here, right? Not really, brother. I really, I really don't go to too many of these churches and stuff. If uh, you were on, if you were online, we're the lights. Great news. That, that's true. It says the Lord directed all men's steps. So the thing is, yeah. So right now, brother, definitely, definitely. If you, yes, but but the thing is, is it's not in the way that the church interprets them. The father, his name is Yahweh, and he's a so-called black son is the whole shot right the holy spirit isn't a, 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 a stereo you know feminine spirit what it actually is it's the it's the understanding and wisdom of the bible right as in it tells you in the wisdom of the bible is it's, it's in the wisdom of solomon it, 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 yep and did you know by the way that king james is a so-called black was a so-called black man yep it's, yeah but the holy spirit is actually the understanding and the wisdom of the bible that the lord gives to people beautiful beautiful brother hey but also on that book see is this the 1611 uh kjv 1611 because in there there's 14 books that were removed in the new king james version bible right yeah see this is the this is the king james version 1611 yeah 1611 so you, you you'll be able to tell if you've if there's a book uh, there's 14 books in the middle called the Apocrypha, which which covered the Greek captivity, right? Yeah. So so what happened is in, in the, the exactly the Catholic Bible because what happened in, in the in the 1800s, uh, you had the the Protestants they took out the Apocrypha, they took it yeah they didn't take it out but they did they flooded the market with free Bibles. Yep, exactly. And the reason is because. In the 14 books, which are right here, these 14 books. Yep, exactly. Between the first, and the, the old, and the New Testament, right? Yeah, exactly. The Bell and the Dragon, first, second Ezra. You have Wisdom of Solomon, Baruch. Yeah, first and second Ezra. But I just read to you about the stature. That was the uh, that was second Ezra, right? Yeah, Maccabees one and two. Yeah, Baruch, Wisdom of Solomon, Esther. The editions of Esther, Susanna, uh, the, 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 the books of Jeremiah, uh -huh. and the prayer uh, of Manasseh. Uh, uh, yep, yep. So, so those 14 books, and the reason why they took that out is because that right there, for the most part, was the Greek captivity, right? Because. No, yeah, they, they, they want other, other authors do not want them. Oh, exactly. That's exactly why they took it out. See, because. It's wrong. Oh, it is wrong. But again, what are the. What are the, the but the thing is, is that. Devil's in bullshit right now, so he doesn't. So he understands that that because what is the, these Edomites, Caucasian right? That's what their biblical name is, the Edomites. I hear you, brother. Well, I'm I'm here every Saturday for the most part from two to like two three o'clock to about five o'clock. So if you ever want to come by, I know I'm about to be done right now. But hey, good speaking to you, brother. I'm, hey, I'm Jose. Oh, Jose. Jose. Nice to meet you. Yeshaya. Yeshaya, which is uh, Yahweh is salvation. Uh, Yeshaya. That's what your mom gave. You? That's my that's my God given name, Yeshaya. Did he give you the name? You call you you say Isaiah, Isaiah in English. Isaiah. 
name. My name, but. Yeah, but you're not going to say it. Hey, hey, the Lord said he would bring back his, his men. But like I said again, I'm not the only one, brother. There's thousands of people like me on the streets today. Yeah, and like I was saying again, what I wanted to show you is if you, if you go, yeah, if you go on, online, you, you see there's there's hundreds of men out there right now, you know, basically your subscriptions. Yeah, see, there I am right here, and there, all these people here are out there preaching the exact same thing as me. And it's because we're the Israelites, the Lord has put it into our spirits and woken us up and given us the truth. And right now we're out here telling <coughs> the Negro Latino Native Americans that anybody whose father's lineage goes back to this bloodline, like I said, even though you, you, you say you're French, those French originally went back to the Israelites of that, that were on the road. Yeah, please do. And, and this right, this information is in the little papers I gave you as well. So, but again, you go to my channel and you can just kind of check this out and stuff. And like I said, again, we're here every, I'm here usually every Saturday. From, oh, I hear you, man. So, so yeah, there you go, Aki. I'm so beautiful. See, the, this truth is getting out and it, and it reverberates and it resonates in the ears of those who have wisdom, the, the, the people that the Lord wants to hear, right? So that being said, let's get back to the lesson and we'll go ahead and, and, and we're about to be finished off here. So, like I said, uh, <laughs> you'll find it, brother, you'll find it. So, like, I, like, like we just read, uh, the World Economic Forum and King J King Charles the Third, how he declared the 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 arrival of the Great Reset. Well, what does the Bible say when the wicked starts when wicked speak? Right? It tells you here. Let's read it in in uh, Proverbs. Let's see Proverbs uh, twenty six and twenty four. He that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit in him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. So, 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 so there, King Charles, even though he's saying that we're gonna do a great reset and everything. Oh, you gotta change it around, brother. You gotta go to options. And let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah, because you gotta change the camera around. Um, oh wait. Show you? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Hold on. No, no, it, it had it, it had it. There you go. Got it? Yeah. So, like, like it says there, right? Never trust thy enemy, and when he speaketh fair, believe him not. Right? And King Charles is speaking very fair, right? When he's, when he's, when he gave his declaration, he made it sound like he he's out here to save the world, and he wants to give everybody a fair chance and a new and a new uh, start over. But what does that restart uh, uh, imply, right? They're gonna take away. What, is, what did Carl Schwab say? God hey, God bless you too. You take care, brother. Um, so so like I said, uh, uh, Carl Schwab said you will own nothing and be happy, right? They want to take away everything you own and put you into perpetual slavery. And how are they gonna do that? Well, they have plans by doing that through the the new digital dollar, the CBDCs, and the mark of the beast, the, the microchip, right? And, and, the, and the scheduled snake bites, which they're gonna wanna make everybody take, right? In this future, you're gonna have to have permissions to have children. In this future, you're gonna have to have permissions to travel more than 15 minutes out of your city, right? Everybody's gonna no longer have freedom to, to travel or go around, right? The, the age of, of traveling around the world is over, according to these devils, right? They, they want to make it seem like they're doing good, but what does it say? Who's, it says, when he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Right, seven just uh, represents a completion, right? So there's a complete num uh, abominations in these devil's hearts, right? And remember, they only want there to be 500 million people upon the face of the earth. And trust me, that 500 million does not include you, your family, your friends or your loved ones, right? It only includes them, okay? And it says, verse 26, whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation, right? And that's what you're seeing today. You're seeing all these hundreds of videos of all the wickedness that these Edomites have done to us from the, the VX uh, uh, test that they ran on, on, on cities back in the 50s to the um, 
the the Tuskegee project where they they, they injected uh, Jude, Judeans Judites with with uh, syphilis just to see how how they would react right to all the 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 uh, the, the the secret um, what do they call it when they make you infertile right where they basically they would take uh, Latina women and Indian women they would basically cut their tubes right and all all because um, um, it, you know they were trying to save society and stuff like that right these devils they're wicked and, and and their wickedness is being shown before the entire world right this is why they don't want to they don't want to teach critical race theory to come out because they don't want the world to see all the wickedness that they were behind what wickedness well all the lynchings the killing the conquering and the destroying of people okay it says 27 whose diggeth the pit shall fall therein and he that rolleth the stone it shall return upon him a lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it and a flattering mouth worketh ruin right so that's why right now these devils are working to create hate hate speech laws right where basically they're gonna uh, make it almost impossible to speak any truth online and this is why like I said mark my words they're gonna bring out uh, they're gonna get rid of the internet as we know it and you're gonna have to have a, a, a government ID or a government internet driver's license to go onto the internet right where if you if you make if you like I was saying before the, the man who came if you if you come and and you you go online with your your government issued internet driver's license and you start speaking out or, or posting up scriptures uh, condemning the, the the alphabet community or, or talking against the, the powers they're gonna go ahead and put they're gonna they're gonna dock you uh, credit social credit scores and just like the people in China who have low credit scores you can't get on trains you can't travel to certain cities your children can't go to certain schools you can't rent certain apartments right this is how they're ultimately gonna go in to do that here and around the world this is the beast system that that's coming Akium. right and this is why the Bible says never trust thy enemies and, and when he comes humble and he speaketh fair believe him not okay so next but the good thing is is that like I had said the Lord he ultimately is bringing these devils down right and the fact that uh, King Charles is 75 taking the throne throne finally after his decrepit old geriatric mother died is a sign to show you that this is his he no longer is a, is the child of the morning star but but the child of the evening star right his kingdom is, is gonna set and what's that say, famous saying about Britain the Sun shall never set upon their empire it, it's setting it's already coming down man and these devils they just don't know it yet man but but they the, but the people on, on the bottom know it this is why they're why for the last couple of months over in England there's been thousands of people rioting or not rioting but protesting uh, about a fair living wage uh, over there over in France people are rioting uh, talking about the pension uh, uh, readjustments see and the thing is is people over here in America are too docile and, and too too uh, compliant and too busy trying to, to to work and make a living to to even even uh, protest right and the thing is is that that over here even though people are just as fed up over here they ain't gonna do anything everybody right now is basically hunkering down and getting ready to withstand uh, uh, um, what's coming well at least those who are aware of it and the majority of the other other people in this world the two-thirds and all the the willfully ignorant people they're just going along to get along they're not realizing that they're gonna be destroyed in, in uh, the cataclysm that's gonna come but this is a uh, job let's see job 20 and 22 in the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits and that's talking about now these Edomites are in the fullness of their sufficiency they have conquered the world they've taken over the world uh, economic system right they have the whole world in subjection under the military okay they've conquered all their real enemies right and right now the war in but the war that you see happening between Russia and America that's these Edomites fighting amongst themselves right because now there's really no other people in the world to fight and don't say China because really these Chinese are pretty much being upheld by the Ashkenazi Jews, man, because they're, they're the basically the, the model that 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 uh, is going to be for the for the new world order. This is why um, Mao, uh, Chairman Mao, uh, went to school over here in the in in the West or over in England, and there's pictures of him hanging out with Amalek, right? Basically, because he was he was told the whole the whole scheme how Amalek was going to put all these different political systems all over the world 
and that ultimately he was going to pit them against each other. And at the very end, every, um, they were all going to basically fall down. And what would, what would eventually um, be left would be this one world socialist order, right? Which is backed by Luciferianism, okay? And that's what we're seeing now. This is why you're seeing all that trans uh, reading to kids, all these pedophilia things coming out, all these Satanists, Satan Con going, which I made a, a lesson on recently. All these things are happening because now the, 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 the Edomite is in his sufficiency. He is at his height of his kingdom. And what's happening? Just as he is wicked, he is bringing the world to the level of his, of his liking of wickedness, okay? In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. And those straits is talking about all the protesting, all the people who are fighting against them, Russia who is going against the grain and wanting to fight against America so that way they could be the rulers, right? All these are the straits that these Edomites are falling into even though now they basically won the game according to them, right? Every hand of the wicked shall come upon them, right? Right there, the word wicked really means laborers, right? So it says every hand of the laborer shall come upon them, meaning that, that there's going to be social unrest and there's going to be class riots, okay? And you're already starting to see that on a slow scale. This is where you're seeing images or videos or, or news stories about so-called black people attacking white people in, in rich affluent cities or there's, or look at San Francisco, right? People can't even uh, uh, live richly over there now. Now people have to hide their chains, uh, put away their, their uh, uh, um, watches. They have to take all the things out of their cars and basically, so that way people don't break into their cars over there, okay? So this just shows you that right now that the hands of the laborers are starting to come upon all, all the uh, these Edomites, right? The people who have taken over this world. And it says, verse 23, when he is about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon, right? The iron weapon is the nuclear missiles, okay? And the bow of steel shall strike him through, right? See, because what's going to eventually happen is though this this is planned to have these countries fight against each other, Russia is taking it. Russia and Iran are taking it to a whole other level. They actually are, are real about this this war that they're going to have with America. And World War Three is actually going to happen. Nuclear annihilation is going to happen. But those Israelites who wake up, those Negro Latino Native Americans, hey, you guys are the Israelites of the Bible. You know, we're those we're these people that God loves. Okay. We're going to be the ones that are going to have a chance to escape all the things that are coming, right? Because why? Because we're the chosen people, okay? But what's going to happen is that the Lord is, 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 is making the Egyptians fight the Egyptians and basically making the house of Satan fight against the house of Satan, right? This is, this is what eventually is going to happen is that World War III will break out, not according to plan, but according to the chaos which has come from the, all of these different Edomites trying to get, get in a... Become, to become the new rulers, okay? And eventually what's going to happen is that the nuclear missiles are going to eventually launch and that, that these Edomites are ultimately going to be destroyed by them, right? And it says, it says, he, sh he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh upon the, and cometh out of the body, yea, the glistering sword cometh out of his, out of his gall, terrors are upon him, right? And when it says, it comes out of the body. When you look at the the missiles, when they when they show missiles being launched, they come out of the, out of the uh, these missile silos, right? So so when they when the prophet was seeing this vision, he was trying to explain, he was trying to describe what he was watching, right? Because the Lord had given him a vision. It could have been a screen or, or a holograph, whatever. But right here, uh, uh, he was describing what was eventually going to happen uh, to. Uh, you know, in World War III, when the nuclear missiles go flying and ultimately destroy these Edomite kingdoms, right? So, next, so so not only is that going to happen, but like I said, we just read that that these devils are going to ultimately uh, be in straits. Now, how else are these straits going to start happening? Well, let's let's read it. I, I had mentioned it a little while ago, telling you about how how right now there's lots of uh, of protests going on over in England talking about not my king and you know uh, booing King Charles when he's coming by on his solid gold uh, uh, caris, uh, chariot right uh, or his carriage it says this this is um it says 
15 and the second Ezra is 15 and 14. It says, this is uh, second Ezra is 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight another, another against another and swords in their hands, right? This is talking about the ultimate riots are gonna come, right? Where eventually the entire system's gonna collapse, the money system's gonna collapse, and people will eventually start being out here robbing each other with swords in their hands. And when it says swords here, it means guns, okay? So there's gonna be people basically uh, attacking people, robbing people, uh, going into houses that get food, right? Breaking into these, these, uh, these, these uh, supermarkets to get food, and why? Because when that fee system comes in, you're not gonna be able to buy anything unless you have that microchip in your hand or your forehead. And a lot of people aren't gonna take it, but what they do have, they're gonna, they're gonna say, hey, well, you know, I don't got the chip, but I got a bunch of lead. And they're gonna come in with guns and they're gonna basically try to rob these supermarkets and all this stuff. And that's how it's gonna, and that's how it's gonna be. That's what this is describing. It says, it says verse 16, for there shall be sedition amongst men. Sedition means going up against the, the government, right? It says, for an invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And when you look right now in those videos, again, if you go on YouTube, you type in not my king, you'll see all these videos of all these news agencies talking about showing all these uh, yellow protesters. They're flipping King Charles off when he comes by, uh, you know, screaming, not my king, chanting, not my king, throwing eggs and all this stuff, man. Because again, they don't want King Charles as their king because they know this guy's a, a weirdo and ultimately the time of monarchy is over, right? So so this is, and ultimately this prophecy is, is, is being fulfilled, right? They're not regarding their kings. And it says, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, right? So. That's ultimately what we're going, we're coming to, man. See, pretty soon they're going to start, they're going to bring in martial law. This is what's described in uh, Jeremiah 30 and 30, I believe, talking about Jacob's trouble, right? Jacob being uh, the, the Negro Latino Native Americans, right? It's going to ultimately be a trouble for everybody, but primarily us, because we're not the ones in power right now, right? We're subject to the powers that be, right? Which means all this military policing and everything is going to be, come, is going to come down on us, on neighborhoods, like this, like all these places you see here, there's gonna be tanks and, and Humvees and these these new uh, you know uh, military vehicles here, making sure that that checkpoints are set up and making sure you're not going to to places you're not allowed to, right? You're only gonna be allowed to go like five miles or 15 minutes outside of your your location, right? Just like during the the lockdowns, they're gonna do that again, but they're gonna they're gonna say this is due to climate climate lockdowns or it's gonna be due to riots or all these type of things or they're gonna basically try to bring restore restore uh, some sort of civility back to to the to the cities after all these riots and people basically going into the city these stores and, and basically looting them and destroying them because they don't got those chips they don't got those that they don't got that karagma okay but what is the ultimately gonna be the end of this right let's, let's read it let's find out what the end of all this is gonna be this is going to be a little bit longer, Aki, I'm just going to kind of read through it because it pretty much it, it, it embodies entire everything that's going to, going to happen next, right? This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 5. It says, Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers, right? That's why nobody wants to listen Man, to brother. the rulers. Nobody wants to, to, to listen to, to any of, of these, of the, the, the new king or the presidents, right? Because they all know that they're all in on this new world order, a uh, world economic uh, reset, right? This is why Justin Trudeau, uh, he, he's, they, they're desperately trying to get him out of uh, out of uh, power. And also Biden, that that bag of bones and stuff like that, he was, he was put into uh, power uh, illegitimately, man, right? And that's why they're gonna try to run him again because they wanna keep that puppet in place, okay? So it says, and that's ultimately why the staff of the rulers have been destroyed because nobody is regarding 
they're kings or princes, man. Nobody wants to listen to these corrupt rulers anymore. Right? He says, verse 6, he has smote the people in, he who smote the people in wrath, talking about these Edomites, with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. This is why right now you're seeing all this hatred coming out, coming upon like these Edomites with white supremacy claims and bringing out all the truth and nobody's saying, hey, leave them alone or that's racist and stuff because people know that, that these Edomites, they deserve it. Verse seven, the whole, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. This is talking about once these Edomites are taken down and they're they're taken out, right? Because they're persecuted and basically they're 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 taken out of their job, right? The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and and the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee, and thy at thy coming it stirreth up the dead for thee even all the chief ones of the earth it has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations right showing that all these edomites right are all going to be basically betrayed by all the other nations of the world all the other nations have said they've had enough with these edomites and they're basically now looking at uh, forming an alliance with china and all these other uh, nations to come up against these edomites okay you got nigeria uh, with uh, their mountain of gold, you know, uh, bringing together all the other African nations, right? Now they're, and now, now they're making alliances with Saudi Arabia. Like it says, all the kings of the other nations are now starting to come up against uh, uh, these Edomites and all the, their, their nations, okay? It says, it hath raised up from the thrones all the kings of the nations, all they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us, right? So that's why how right now America is, is you know, the, their, their military isn't as strong as it used to be. The economies of, the, of these Edomite empires are all being destroyed and weakened, right? Look at the economies of China and Nigeria. Those are all raising up as American and, and all these other European countries are, are being destroyed, right? Economically, that is, right? Uh, militarily as well, right? These other nations are now saying like, look, you're as weak as us now. It says, verse 11, Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy bowels, the worm is spread under thee, and the worm cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? And Lucifer is talking about these Illuminati, the light bearers, the, the people who run this society, the secret, the, the secret occultists who run these societies in secret, okay? Um, it says, son of the morning, right, with the question mark, right? Son of the morning is referring to like, me and their empire is just starting to, starting to, it's starting, right? It's in the morning, right? So it's, and it says that kind of like a joking fashion, right? Oh, you're, aren't you the son of the morning? Is it your empire gonna go on forever? Sort of like that sort of fashion. Son of, the, it says, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which doest, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? See, notice that. It didn't say, Is this the spiritual red demon that has horns and, and, a, and a pitchfork? No, it says, is this the man? Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did not, that did shake kingdoms? That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof? That opened not the house of his prisoners? All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house, right? And that right there is talking about after we have taken over, right, and the thousand years where, the, where all the other nations are put into subjection to rebuild the earth, all the other 16 nations are going to be permitted to go back into their own lands and rule their people according to the laws 
and to be under us, and they're going to be in their glory, except for the, you Edomites. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the remnant of those that are slain thrust through with the sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as the as a carcass trodden under foot, thou, thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahushai of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remembrance and, and remnant and son and nephew, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So you see, the Lord is going to come back and destroy all these Edomites. He's going to destroy all the Caucasians, and they're going to ultimately go into, into uh, captivity. And once they're put into captivity for a thousand years, they're ultimately going to be put, done away with. And us Israelites, the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, we're going to be the new rulers of the world, says the Bible, right? And this is why they don't teach this in these churches, because these churches are ultimately funded by these Edomites. So ultimately, that's all I wanted to go into today, Akiam. I wanted to show you, all you uh, how the coronation and the crowning of, of King Charles, King Charles Philip Arthur George Sex Colbert Gotha, the Edomite, how it's spiritual and how ultimately that's going to be the last king upon the of these Edomites to rule the world okay so hopefully that this video was edifying I'll keep till the next time I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rukal Kadash Brakat the Yahweh Brakat the Yahweh Shai Brakat the Yahweh Brakat the Yahweh Shai Brakat the Yahweh Brakat the Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rukal Kadash double honors to my teachers the apostles and elders of Great Millstone peace and mercy to the elect who the house of David be born again in this generation. And uh, again, Shalom to, uh, to uh, uh, the one third of Israel, who are the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage, uh, we were known as the Israelites. But to, again, today we're just known as the, the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. And as that man came by today, uh, you know, it, it could be anybody else whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline. So with all that, Akiam, hopefully this video was edifying. Until the next time. I'll, I'll catch you brothers all throughout the week. But again, if you have any questions, Post it down in the video, but uh, I'll catch you brothers next time. Shalom.